I am over back at the train station. Oh my god, I just came up with the idea for an amazing video. A wave of creative power come over you. And Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. I am over back at the train station, dropping off Granny, sending her home. Had a fantastic time, always love when she comes to visit. Did nothing but talk and eat and reminisce and have fun and speak about all the things my kids always laugh about, <clears throat> how we grew up and how things were so different back in the day. Remember those stories? Back in the day. But fun is over. Headed back to work. It's just a short day today. Only have to put in a half day. Granny's train was 12.30ish. Uh, Dropped her off here around 11-ish. Take me about 20, 30 minutes to get back to the other side of town, but I wish I could just stay with her and have her spend the whole month with us. But never home, always at work. You guys know Monday through Friday from 7 to 7, we're on the road making money. And then our weekends are dedicated to going out and finding content to make more money with, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, take you to where Granny lives. She's down in the East Coast area over uh, by Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach. I'll show you how the uh, super seniors live. There's many, many residents in their hundreds, 102, 103. All of them are in their 80s and 90s. Granny is a spry 80s woman. So, you know, their world is an interesting world. Funny, oh my God. What they get into arguments about is comical is Seinfeld. If you ever seen Seinfeld, she lives there. That's the only problem with trying to tape underneath the interstate. Night Riders. Anyway, she's a Del Boca Vista girl. So you'd imagine the madness that ensues. I think that dude just came up and overhead right over us. Ain't I lucky? But at this time, I'm gonna start doing that. But at this time, we will now proceed to our office and put in some time there, grab some lunch, and hopefully the day will fly by. We'll see. We'll see. I was hoping to get the train in the background coming in, but ain't gonna be here that long. It's all, it, it ain't here for another half hour or more. <laughs> Scheduled half hour means one hour. Train is times two at minimum. Sometimes three, could even be four. So we gotta go. Oh my yeah. God, I just came up with the idea for an amazing video and a challenge for myself. We'll go into that later, but I gotta conduct some experiment on the way back to work. This should be real interesting, and I will let you in on what happens in another video, but I just overwhelmed with an incredible uh, creative idea, so we're gonna act on that on the way back to work, and then I'll share the secret with you tomorrow. Christmas was here just the other day and gone just hours later. Man, we're quick in America, right? We love you today, hate you tomorrow. You were in our hearts and minds and souls for all the 24 hours and now it's time to move on. Eh, I got home early, everybody. Lived my dream with that moment of passion this afternoon. Be talking about that tomorrow. Let's just see some of those results. I haven't looked at them yet myself. I have to download everything I put in, but I think I may have some interesting shots. If anything, I had a great time and I was able to exercise one of my creative ideas actually in real time, which I think was probably more exciting than anything. Being able to actually exercise one of your creative ideas and inspiration on the spot as soon as you have it, cool as hell, man. That's why I know being a full-time creator must be an amazing thing. Because whenever you have one of those giant inspirations, you just run, you attack it, you're able to do it. Unlike now, when you're a part-time creator, you have to first fulfill your full-time activities and then, you know, you have to create. Look at my bench. Got the bench done, back snapped off. Didn't let that stop me. I said, ah, look how nice. Here we are in the backyard. I thought it would be a little more cozy and intimate to finish up here than in the studio that isn't done yet so it's nicer outside today and look 
Maybe I can do something with the wall behind me. Yeah, I gotta get Rini started on that. This wall behind me, when I see it in this video, just looks way too big, clean, and clear to not have something going on back here. Look at the size of that piece. Wow. We could do something stunning with that. And there's gonna be a door right there soon. I'm gonna get around to that. <laughs> Hiring the dude to get around to that. Anyway, beautiful out tonight. Just beautiful. Be a little cold tomorrow morning. And I see my hedges need trimming again. See, that's the only problem when you come outside to hang out. All you wind up doing is seeing all the things that you need to get done that haven't been done. Like, I didn't mow the grass, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think it really needs it yet. I think I'm not going to do it again this weekend. I'm going to be super lazy and let it fly by. Two days from now, how much more could it grow? One more week, right? We all agree. One more week. I'm not touching it for another week. But, like I said, man... You gotta be careful when you come outside. All you do is find more work and things that you gotta get done. If I walk down this side of the building, Lord knows what I'll run into. And nothing much. That's my dead side of the house. I keep nothing there. I grow nothing there. So I don't have to do nothing there. Anyway, y'all know how we do it. It's about that time of day. Comment, like. Oop, wrong side. Come around this way. Subscribe. Hit that button down there. Ring that notification bell. Join me tomorrow. I'll be back in the office all day. Love ya. See y'all in the morning. I'm getting up early in the morning.